Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shraddha Deshpande, your beauty BFF. So today I have like an exciting product that I have been waiting to review and it finally arrived. So um, I recently picked up two products from Charlotte Tilbury and they're the new launches and you guessed it right. So I'm just out of the shower and um, I couldn't wait to review these because they just came, they just arrived and I just quickly wanted to make like a review video for these products. So I picked up two products from Charlotte Tilbury and it's none other than the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. This is a hydrating foundation stick and um, I picked up the Beautiful Skin Island Glow Lip and Cheek uh, Weightless Creme Lip Blush Tint. So I actually picked up one shade out of this because um, the other two shades didn't excite me that much but I really like the pink one. I got this up in the shade uh, Paradise Pink Glow and um, in the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint I picked this up in the shade 8 Medium. So um, I read a little bit about this foundation and I just couldn't wait to even like review this and i'm no i know that i'm a bit late because this foundation launched quite earlier than this review video but um as i could buy it i just quickly bought it and it arrived and i just i'm shooting a video right now after i've showered my hair is just still damp right now so i just couldn't wait to uh, wait even for another day to make a review video on these products so um without wasting any time let's just quickly get into the review and if you're new here to my channel do not forget to subscribe to my channel so first let's kick things off with reviewing the charlotte Tilbury's unreal skin sheer glow tint this is hydrating foundation stick is charlotte Tilbury's first ever stick foundation this foundation promises a radiant dewy finish what's unique about this product is that it's got all the good skin loving ingredients such as hyaluronic acid it also makes your skin plump and hydrated for up to 24 hours so i just can't wait to unbox this and try it on my skin so i picked this up in the shade 8 medium and um, i um felt that this might be a little bit lighter for my skin so let's see how this is so i'm just gonna quickly unbox it and show you guys so it comes in this typical um the usual stick foundation format and i love the packaging it's white and has the rose gold so typical charlotte Tilbury color and it looks really creamy on top and i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys to show oh my god it's it's really um blendable i can say when i'm just trying to rub it with my fingers i think what i can see is that the part where i've applied it on my hand it's blended but there's a little soft shimmer like a soft dewy um creamy glow on my hand but yet it's quite sheer so I don't know how this is going to work on my skin because any which way it's supposed to be a skin glow tint. So I'm not expecting much of coverage out of this. I think it's going to be very, um, I would say very close to being like a very soft sheer tint on my skin. So when I saw this, I kind of felt that this might have... Um, at least medium coverage but i don't think it has medium coverage so we're going to quickly just i'm going to swatch it on my face and see how it looks on me so i'm just out of my shower i don't have any skincare on my face i wanted to try this foundation raw with no primer and also like with no skincare and makeup and see how this foundation performs on my skin because it, they say that it has hyaluronic acid so i am just having a little bit more expectations with the hydrating factor of this foundation also when i went to the website i read that it has micropolicin filters that give your skin that glow from within so let's see how this foundation works on my skin today so I'm just going to put it on one side of my face and then compare to the other side and uh, oh I 
I just feel that I've applied quite a lot, but it still feels less. I, I don't know why. But um, I'm going to go ahead with this thick blending brush and blend, and blend this foundation all over my face. So it blends quite easily. And the texture of this foundation feels creamy, but yet it's lightweight and buildable at the same time. And um, I kind of feel that it gives... If you can like just see or try to compare my skin when I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror as well, I can see that there is a little bit of um, like a glow like a very soft glow on my skin it's like my skin but a little bit more glowy if i can just i'm just going to turn my head and you can see that there is a difference like this part of my face where i've not applied this foundation is like a little bit dry of course but without um even my skincare this foundation pretty much just gave a nice touch of sheer glow on my skin the best thing about this foundation is that it's super easy to just glide onto your face applying the unreal skin tint is super easy like um you just like glide it all over your face and it blends really well so on this side of my face i'm going to use my fingers to blend this foundation out because i feel that this side of the face i used a brush and i want to see how it blends with just my fingers so, um, and I like the fact that it gives a nice sheer light coverage. Mostly I think I would just like to use this foundation especially when I just want like a soft no makeup makeup look. And um, it has a beautiful sheer to light coverage. But if you're somebody who has expectations for a medium coverage then I would, wouldn't recommend using or even buying this foundation. And um, it kind of like softly evens my skin out. Even though it's a sheer coverage foundation, it doesn't even mask the natural texture of my skin, which I like, giving it a nice, natural, glowy look on my skin. I've just applied the foundation all over my face. I'm going to try one more thing out. I'm just going to slowly just apply a little bit more underneath my eye. Like, it's just me having a little more expectation, but let's see how this goes. Because um, usually it's not recommended to apply a foundation underneath your eye because it's going to crease and give a, like, there's going to be crease lines under your eye if you do that. But since this foundation is like a sheer coverage foundation, I wanted to try this out because I want my face to look even, even though it's like a sheer glow of tint. So let's see. I think pretty much... My eyes look a little bit lifted and that's what I need, especially with a no makeup look. Uh, we tend to use a concealer and then your face looks very different, like your concealer pops out and your foundation looks very dewy. But um, I think pretty much it's just um, adding or like elevating like the, the natural texture of my skin, which I like about this skin tint. So, I would like to wear this foundation for the evening and let you guys know how the wear test went for this foundation. And except for that, I like the fact that it's just natural, it's not too heavy and um, I am in total awe with the texture of this foundation. It feels very creamy and even for a creamy foundation, it's quite blendable like you just have to glide it all over your face and you can even use your fingers to blend it out it's that blendable and if you guys are like looking out for um medium coverage like even if you want to build up medium coverage then i would not recommend even trying with this foundation because it has a very light coverage so um this is like the dream foundation for people who like natural sheer skin tint and anything that elevates your um, natural texture of your skin or even your complexion like this foundation is like the perfect match for my skin so i am in the shade 8 medium again the other foundations that i use i have mentioned it down in the description below so you guys can also compare and understand what shade you guys should pick so the next product that i picked up is the beautiful skin island glow lip and cheek 
uh, creme lip blush tin so um, I got this in so I picked this up in the shade paradise pink glow of late I've been loving pink makeup I just don't know why and I just I just love the packaging of this this is so tiny and it's so cute and um, like the usual Charlotte Tilbury design and this is the shade on the inside it's a true pink it's a mid-tone pink I would say but it's a pretty it's not that poppy I can it's not that poppy but it's a true pink like um, it's I believe that it's a cool tone pink shade this is a lip and cheek tint you can use it on your lips and your cheeks both and um, I love the texture if of this tint you guys can see how this looks it's so creamy I'm just gonna show you guys you can see how blendable and creamy this is and just look at being creamy at the same time and it's so liquidy that when I'm touching it it's just like blending onto my fingers along with like it's just melting which I like and um, I'm gonna swatch it on my hand and show you guys the shade and here you can see it has like medium pigment but when you see it here it looks quite pigmented but uh, honestly speaking I feel that when it comes to the application I feel it's gonna be quite blendable so I'm gonna go ahead and just dot a few fingers on my cheeks now to blend this out, I'm going to go ahead with this brush. It gives like a really soft um, pint of color on my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little, like a little bit more because I feel the brush picked up quite a lot of it. Honestly speaking, this is like my fourth application with the brush. So I'm going to blend this side out with my fingers and um see how this works out i think i think blending these out with your fingers is a better option because there's no product pickup that's going to happen from your fingers um and uh usually when you try to blend it out the brush or a beauty blender it's going to pick up a little bit of product but i think using fingers is a better option but i like the color i like the shade and i'm going to use a little bit on my lips The one thing that I really like about this lip and cheek tint is that it's so creamy like it feels like it's melting on my fingers and the other thing is that I really like the fact that it's so blendable on my skin that as I just rub it everywhere it just kind of feels like it feels like it's my own skin and it's not going to budge from that spot where I've applied it I'm just going to try to and the other thing that I like about this lip and cheek tint is that it blends really well when you apply it on your skin. It has a nice thick creamy texture and I feel that it's not going to move from where I applied it. So I'm just trying to like add a little bit tint on my nose and then just blend it outward so I can just have a nice blush look on my face i personally believe that if i applied this on top of any other foundation like a high coverage foundation this product would look very different but comparing like adding it on top of the sheer skin tint i feel it just amplifies and these two go very well together as like a no makeup makeup look but I would really like to try this with like another full coverage foundation or a medium coverage foundation or just even try to wear it like on my skin without anything because it's creamy and it's hydrating at the same time and you can see now that I've blended it out it doesn't even feel too poppy it doesn't feel like I have um, applied anything on my skin it just looks so natural and it just goes well with the overall look that I have. Honestly speaking, I feel that this tint is like perfect for on-the-go makeup touch-ups. Like I can just have this in my bag and touch up my face 
and my lips at the same time. I'm just liking the wash of the color that it's given me. It's like perfect for summers, honestly speaking, because this is quite a poppy summer shade. I kind of feel that since it's like a cool toned lip and cheek tint i can try to wear it and pull it off even during winters i also like the fact that it's given me a nice natural healthy flush look on my skin it also gives like a very subtle glow without looking overdone pretty much i am happy with the products that i've bought especially i think both of them because i feel that both of them are perfect for that natural no makeup makeup look but um with the skin tint i felt i could add a little bit more coverage but i could not so being very honest if you guys are expecting medium coverage out of the skin tint then it's not going to work out but even for the lip and the cheek tint if you guys are expecting that it's going to um build the pigment if you keep on applying it then it might not because i applied it like a couple of times again and again and this is the way it's going to look so it's very natural and it's going to give you that natural healthy glow so if you guys are expecting like a lot of pigment and a lot of coverage from these two products and it's not going to work out um the texture of the skin tint it's beautiful it's very creamy it's blendable and it just has a different uh feel to it it has a different uh completely like a complete different texture to it which is different from other foundations that i have tried so yes these two products are quite innovative in 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 a sense but um i would of course love to answer all of your questions if you guys have any questions do not forget to mention it down in the description in the comments below i will let you guys know um how this foundation worked like after a couple of hours so i will mention it down in the description below for you guys also the other shades of foundations that i use are mentioned down in the description below for you guys to look for so if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to like this video and if you guys want me to try any other makeup products or review anything do not let do not hesitate to let me know if you guys try these products then also let me know how it worked for you guys and i will see you guys in another makeup video